So here I have everything I need to do a very simple investigation about water. So in this cup right here, I'm going to place warm water. And in this cup right here, I'm going to place ice cold water. But everything else I'm going to leave the same. So same cups, same basic amount of water, and I'm going to cover them with two identical lids. So here's your question. After several minutes of sitting here, what differences should I expect to see between these two cups? What differences will I see between the hot water that's been covered and the cold water that's been covered after I leave them here for a little while? Take a minute, discuss that with your classmates, and I'll be back to talk about the answer. So remember, the only difference I made between these two cups was the temperature of the water inside. But after I leave these sitting for a little while, I see that that caused a very interesting difference to occur. If I look at this cup right here where I put the warm water, I'll see that there's, there's no water droplets on the outside of the cup. The cup doesn't have any water around the outside. But underneath the lid, it is actually covered with water droplets. So underneath the lid is just covered in little droplets of water. But here in the cup where I put the ice cold water, there's actually no water droplets on the lid at all. But the cup itself is surrounded by droplets of water. It's just covered all the way around everywhere the cup is cold. So even though the difference in temperature caused water droplets to appear in different spots, all of these droplets of water are actually an example of condensation. Condensation occurs any time water vapor, water that's a gas, condenses, cools off, and turns back into a liquid. And that's what's happening on both of these cups. In the hot water, the water was evaporating inside of the cup, but that water vapor was going up and hitting the cooler lid. When the water vapor uh, went up and, and hit the cooler lid, it condensed, it cooled off, and it turned back into a liquid. And so I got water droplets all on the underside of that glass lid. Here, the water is cold, so it's not really evaporating much, and so I don't get any water droplets on the inside of the lid, but this room is actually full of water vapor. There's water vapor in the air all around you. And so that water vapor came and it hit the sides of this cold glass and the water vapor in the air cooled back off and turned into the droplets of water that you see all around. So anytime water vapor, water that's a gas, cools off and turns back into droplets of water, that is condensation. And usually whenever you see water droplets just seem to appear out of nowhere, it's really water vapor that's cooling off and turning back into liquid water. I'm sure this is something that you and your classmates came up with. Came up the great work, I'll see you next time.